today is just one of those days where um, I woke up, it was a little bit of a cool morning, so I was wearing a sweater and I just did a few things here and there. I pruned some plants, I cut off some of the um, plants that were just already taken over, they were done. Uh, I got some roses over there. You saw that I did a, a little bit of pruning. I got some things straightened up a little bit with some bamboo sticks. Um, it's just, you know, nothing special, but it's just things that need to be done. It's, it's summer, things are definitely growing. Some things are definitely struggling because of the heat. Thankfully, we got a couple of days where it was in the 70s here in central Indiana, so that gave us a little bit of a break. Things are just taking off. Plants are taking over. Some of the new plants that I have, that I haven't had before, I realized are like just huge and big, like some of my salvias and um, it's beautiful. I am loving it, but with all of the growth and everything else that summer brings, um, I just have to be on top of things uh, because if not, then it's just going to be a mess. I have some cherry tomatoes, some cherry plants that definitely need to be pruned big time. So I just figure I show you what I'm doing today uh, a little bit. I want to show you what I found. I actually just got this today. I actually went to the store because I needed uh, to find some more seeds for uh, cilantro. And um, I just, you know, I just kind of peek and see what they had. And I found these gorgeous fox gloves. These are my annual. My idea is to maybe uh, put them in this container and take them out into the ground when they are done for the season and hopefully in a couple of years they'll come back i don't know if um i don't know if i'll be good enough by not planting anything where i'm going to put them but um we'll see we'll see how they do and i have three of them and all three are going to go into this container this container is the one that i use for growing the sugar snap peas the ones that you eat and the soil actually is uh, gorgeous it's still beautiful so what I did is that I got half of that uh, soil in the container out into the raised beds and I got half more of fresh soil and my goodness the 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 soil is just is just gorgeous so that's what I'm going to do today uh, the plants are definitely grown they're blooming and Hopefully here in this dark container, they're just going to do really well. And yes, I know I'm probably, uh, I should probably just put one or two top plants in this container, but, but it will be okay. nice so right about now in the middle of summer when things are you know growing taking over right and left um, I like to use bamboo sticks I like to buy the ones that come in the package in the six feet size uh, and I just cut them in half because for Things like zinnias or any other annuals that are not quite super tall or heavy, these work great. And I use this tape that has a side that is really nice and soft for touching the plants and the other side is Velcro. So that just attaches itself. And I honestly, bamboo sticks are probably my best friends right about now. Sort of. And sometimes I don't even need to use the tape. If I find that the plant is leaning one way, I just put my bamboo stick right next to it. And because this plant has like two main branches coming out, it's just kind of going to hold around it. And this is just a personal preference. <laughs> This is just a personal preference, but I know this guy is going to be blooming and everything, and I just don't like the bamboo sticks to be sticking out, but that's just a personal preference. 
That way they just kind of blend together. And if for some reason this blend that I am not attaching with Velcro right now was kind of coming off, I'll come back later and stick it. That way it's just, it looks a lot more cleaner. And like this guy, this one is definitely leaning. That one is definitely leaning as well. I'm just going to help it. And sometimes like right here, when I have the bamboo, the bamboo stick here and I have the plane here, I am not really going, I am not going to attach the bloom to make it look weird. What I'm going to do is that I'm just going to look for like a main branch and I'm going to gently hold it in place. That way the bloom is just not folded in and it's just going to look uh, more natural and a little bit more well. So for this area right here, I have some gladioli and I have three dahlias, one in the middle and two on each side of the gladioli. Um, but what I'm going to do is that instead of having um, a bamboo stick for each of the plants, and I have plenty of here, I am going to do some sort of waving around, not quite like the Florida weave that it goes straight, but this one is going to be more of a zigzag. Let me show you. So I am going to start with this uh, right here, back there where I have the dahlia. I'm going to be on the outside of the dahlia. And I'm just going to go as deep as I can. There we go, until I can't go anymore. And I know that this is going to be um, kind of weird to see, but hopefully it makes sense. It's going to be right over here. I have so much mulch that I have to make sure that I can get to the ground. There you go. Nope. There you go. The next one is going to be here back. So now that I have my five pieces of bamboo stick, I'm just going to use some regular string to go around the plants. And I'm just going to make sure that whenever I go back, I just go the opposite way, sort of like the Florida weave, the same idea, but in a zigzag pattern. And I wanted to show you this because I feel like a lot of people feel like they have to buy something like really expensive or super fancy to cage or to uh, guide their plants, but that's not always the case. I'm just going to go a couple of times around the bamboo stick. Making sure that I don't kill anything else. And I'm just going to go underneath the plant. And then now that I'm going back, so I am just going to go the opposite way and just kind of sort of go that way. So that's it, you guys. I hope that you guys are enjoying the holiday weekend. Whatever you do, stay safe and I'll see you on the next video.